hello my loves welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell this is going to be a Sagittarius reading this is a general timeless reading so whenever you find this it's meant for you okay also this is for any Sagittarius placement so sun moon rising Venus north node Lilith you name it okay or you could just be curious there's nothing wrong with that let's go ahead and get started my loves open minds open hearts we clear out all negativity Okay, so the channel message that I got for you this time, Sagittarius, is writing in a journal, okay? And that wasn't the phrase. It was more of like the image, okay? Um, it was of somebody writing in a journal. And you know what it reminded me of, Sagittarius? I don't know if you ever saw this show, but it was a show called Doug that me and my uh, siblings used to watch when we were younger. Um, and he would start the show by writing in a journal, okay? It was kind of like... Um, it was kind of like a cartoon. I'm sorry, I'm having like messages come in. Um, but it was kind of, it was a cartoon show. I think it came on Nickelodeon, like maybe in like the 90s, maybe early millennium, but I think it was more like the 90s though. Um, so maybe some of you guys could be journaling right now. Um, or there's a strong need for you to journal um, your emotions or thoughts right now for some reason, okay? That could be, uh, kind of like a form of, of meditation for you right now okay also I'm hearing writing on the walls I'm not sure what that means but that might mean something to somebody that's watching this okay um, you could also be sending text messages I'm hearing as well too or receiving text messages okay or receiving mail or notes or information from people okay kind of like the page of swords and um, page of swords card which is interesting but that's what came to mind, okay? Let's see if that energy plays out in your reading today, okay? Um, this reading is going to focus on past, present, and future energy. Um, also, we're going to get a mixture of oracle cards and tarot cards. Uh, we're going to see what your challenge is, what you don't see coming, and your potential outcome, Sagittarius, okay? Also, this is going to be messages from your higher self, okay? So it can involve anything, uh, finances, career, love family friendships okay anything um so past energy we have abundance it says i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality i love this card it's very beautiful just the color of it okay it makes me think of the root chakra so grounding okay and we talked about meditation so maybe there's a strong need for for you to ground yourself right now Sagittarius okay and definitely do some journaling or some type of meditation whatever your heart is called to do clarifying that we have the two of wands energy okay um, energy of moving forward okay or getting out of your comfort zone and going towards uh, something that is new for you okay um, also adventurous okay which Sagittarius Personally, um, I feel that Sagittarius are very adventurous people, okay? Um, you guys are very fearless people, okay? So maybe something in the past was hindering you from being adventurous, okay? Um, or taking a leap of faith or, or pushing forward, okay? Or getting out of your comfort zone for some reason, okay? Something was blocking you from, from, from manifesting the reality that you wanted. That's what I'm hearing, which is interesting energy. In your present energy, we have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I, but I can expect it for myself. I'm going to read that one more time. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. That's a little wordy, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I'm like, dang, that is so wordy. Um, that's an interesting card because Sag Sagittarius are known to be truth seekers. Okay. Hmm. So I feel like in the present, you're definitely in your power and time is fluid. Okay. So if the exact placements don't resonate with you, Sagittarius, that's totally fine. Um, it's flexible, okay? So just take it how it resonates for, for your um, life right now, okay?
clarifying that we have the two of cups in present energy okay so new love is on the horizon or it's currently here for you right now or in or in the near future Sagittarius I'm hearing okay it's a beautiful connection um, I feel only positive energy from from it I feel like that you guys are going to be equally yoked okay um, a lot of harmony okay I feel in the past possibly the connection you were in lacked harmony okay um, it kept you stuck. It may not have been a very healthy connection as well, I'm hearing. But this one that you're currently experiencing or that's coming towards you um, has only good vibes, I'm hearing, okay? This person has done a lot of self-work in their own personal life, I'm hearing as well too, okay? Okay. They have a cup full of love for you, which is very beautiful. That's a very beautiful phrase. I don't think I've ever had that download before, okay? This person is a very honest person as well, too. And I think that that's something that you um, admire, okay? Um, you, you could have dealt with people that were very dishonest with you in the past, unfortunately, Sagittarius. Who didn't have the same morals and values as you i felt that they tried to pretend like they did um but they didn't or you found out after a while that they were wearing a false mask i'm hearing in the future energy we have imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind this card has come out a lot in my readings for this week okay this is kind of like my pisces card okay it reminds me of the seven of cups so so fantasizing about something having a lot of options a lot of choices okay clarifying that we have the four of swords okay burnout this card also represents healing from a, from a broken heart to me okay it has a lot of sadness to it um it's someone who has like really been kicked in the butt from love okay um and at this point they're kind of just burnt out um and they kind of just need rest okay this could be from life in general it doesn't have to be from like a partnership or anything like that but i feel that in the future your higher self is calling you to practice self-care and more self-love, okay? So the so the two of cups, Sagittarius, could be you bonding more with yourself, bonding more with your higher self, okay? And just being more loving to yourself, or it could actually be another person, okay? This could be romance, it could be a family member, or it could be a friendship, you bonding with friends and with family members more or bonding more with your current partner if you're already in a connection, Sagittarius. In your challenge, you have Ace of Swords, okay? A bright idea, more creativity, okay? And you could be experiencing this because of Pisces season. That's kind of um, a lot of personality traits that they are known for is their creativity and their imagination Sagittarius okay or you could have Pisces in your chart or have a Pisces somewhere in your environment but I feel like your creativity is um, definitely picking up during this time period okay and whatever bright idea that comes to mind you need to work on a plan to put that in action uh I'm hearing within the next few weeks or, or the next few months, okay? Um, or somebody may come into your life, an air sign that can help you put these things into action, okay? Um, in what placement is this? Hold on. Which you don't see coming. I'm sorry, Sagittarius, okay? New spread for me. I'm trying something new, okay? So this is what you don't see coming. King of Wands, Leo energy, okay? Fire energy. Hmm. It could be a Leo coming your way, okay? Um, it could be controlling energy. I feel that this is possibly somebody from the past. Possibly. It doesn't have to be. Um, this could be you. This could be you bossing up, okay? Taking the initiative, being the leader in your own life, leading your life, okay? bossing up that's what i keep on hearing is bossing up okay that's interesting energy i want to clarify for that card 
Seven of Wands, interesting. Okay, sneaky, sneaky. Something's hidden from you. But it's interesting. I don't know if it's a bad thing. I think what's hitting from you is um, you're stronger than you think you are. Um, you have the ability to be a boss, to be a leader. And I feel that you have hid that inside of yourself. It's kind of that lion spirit. Um, it has been resting, hibernating, but I feel soon it will come to the light and that's going to help push you forward. Okay. And change some things in your life. And I feel like that you're going to uncover that during this time period or by time like Leo season, I'm feeling okay. But it's not negative energy. It could be. Take that how that resonates for your life. But I feel like it's just something that you have hidden from yourself, okay, that you will uncover soon. And your potential outcome, page of wands, okay? More creativity. This is interesting. Um, definitely go check out my collective reading for the Pisces season, uh, what to expect. I feel like that, that reading may resonate with you because I talked a lot about creativity. And there's a lot of strong infant infants a strong emphasis um on creativity in this reading sagittarius a strong emphasis which is interesting okay so something a project or something you're working on you're very talented and very gifted in like the artsy realm i'm hearing okay you could definitely have a lot of Pisces in your chart, okay? Like a moon in Pisces or something like that, or a rising or a Venus, maybe a North Node for somebody. Um, but there's definitely a need for you to take the initiative. I feel like you're definitely in your energy because we have a few wands on the table. We have two of wands, we have king of wands, we have page of wands, okay? There's definitely boss energy on the table, okay? So definitely I'm feeling like you ending a cycle and becoming very wise, very knowledgeable, okay? It could be in a certain field, okay? And maybe that's something that you need to hone and work in on um, or work towards, I'm hearing. But I definitely feel that you will have to take a leap of faith very soon. I feel the full energy for some reason with this page of wands, okay? But you have to take the initiative. The um, the last two cards is literally about you taking the initiative and being a leader. Okay. Should I get a clarifier? Let's get one clarifier. Oh, the wheel. Okay, number ten, closing out a cycle. Okay. Well, not even. Well, it could be closing out a cycle because ten could mean that. Um, but it's definitely, things are turning in your favor, like I already said. Um, just whatever you have been hoping for or trying to claim, it, it will happen for you, okay? But you need to boss up and you need to be the leader, the leader. You need to be the leader in your life, okay? And take the initiative because it's at the end of the, of the day, Sagittarius, it's up to you, okay? I feel called to leave it there. I know that might have been a little bit short Sagittarius, but I feel like it was straight to the point. I'm going to go ahead and pull a positive affirmation card for you and then we'll go ahead and end the reading. Okay. I am living and enjoying the present. Interesting. Okay. Um, you could have some fear because of how things went in the past for you. Maybe you thought you were going to have abundance and something ended. Okay. That could have been the end of a connection. I'm hearing a marriage for some reason, um, or schooling, or maybe you didn't get to finish something. Okay. Or maybe a job didn't go as you planned. Okay. But that's the past though, Sagittarius. Okay. So right now you are living and enjoying the present. Okay. And I see a lot of positivity coming for you. Okay boss moves definitely okay in the near future are happening for you right now if this reading resonated with you please let me know in the comment section below i love to read everyone's comments and i try to get back to everybody okay also i would truly appreciate if you guys like share and subscribe to my channel and most importantly my loves if you have not heard this today you are loved and you are cherished until next time bye bye